popping everyone it's Kepper Kave back in our video and today the hive has just released their Halloween haul which means there's a hunt and in this video I'm gonna help you you know get through this hunt and before we begin and be sure to uh, smash that like button if you enjoy the video. And if you want to see more content just like this on this channel, then be sure to subscribe it. Bruh. Subscribe to it. Then, uh, yeah, be sure to ring that notification bell right next to the sub button so you know every time I upload a brand new video to this channel. And with that, let us begin. So there are runestones all across the, uh, the hub that we have to get, we have to collect in order to open this door. That is actually down here. So you're like, yep. Okay, so the thing is, I already collected them, but there's, so far there's no way for me to like restart this map, just restart it to where I can like, collect them again. So, like, you have to bear with me on this one because I just looked at it before and I found where they do spawn. So I'm gonna give you their locations. Just you might not believe me because they're not there. But I assure you, they they are there. Like, if you have trouble, just know that they are located there. Well, for you it would be. For me, it's not because I already collected it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this, like, by color. So we're gonna start off with red, then go to orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We're gonna start off with the red one up there. So the first one, the red one. Well, since we're down here, we might as well start out in this house, which is where the first Runestone we're about to collect is found. Head down to the basement and come <laughs> go through this hallway and come out here. And you will find this room where it's like alternating parkour. Now, as you see, I'm a god parkour gamer, so I gotta do that in one try. But yeah, you have to like time your jumps with these. I don't have like a very good hint for you other than that, so yeah. Just try to memorize where each block is and then just, just try to memorize where each block is about to be. It just debated me at least three times. No. See, I'm a god gamer. You just gotta like. No. No. <sighs> yeah. So once you do that, this is where the red one would be—the red root stone. It would be sitting right here for you. But because it doesn't seem like that, since I don't see it on my screen. You might not believe me, but as I said before, I already collected them, and I don't have a way to, like, redo it. So you're going to have to take my word on this one. The red one will be right here waiting for you. Next, we're going to go with the orange one. And the orange one is the left one, middle left one. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to camp. Yeah, we're going to have to walk all the way to camp. Trust me, there's a good reason for this. Once you're in, uh, once you're at camp, you want to, like, look over. I found this kid while recording this, by the way. Anyway, you want to head through this cave. Trust me, there's a perfectly good reason for this. Trust me. You're going to get out of this alive. Well, pretty much alive, yeah. So, this is the invisible path. You essentially have to get through this, you know... So there's a certain shape, a certain way these bridges are, and they will disappear periodically. And, you know, you see they can reappear from time to time like that. Basically, you just have to, like, maneuver your way to the middle without falling off. Because if you fall off, you're going back to the beginning. Similar to the alternating uh, blocks, you're gonna have to time your, your time your like you have to like time your jumps, kind of. Not only that, you're also gonna have to memorize where the blocks are. This is kind of the same thing of like 
the alternate blocks, but, but here you don't have to time it. You just gotta memorize where they are. Once you make it to this bridge here, just walk straight up to it because there's no blocks affecting it, like so. And then, the, and then the orange one will be here waiting for you. Again, I know it's not for me because I already did it. But it should be there for you when you do it. Now, let's move on to the yellow one, which is the one on bottom left. Uh, real quick. I got a question for you guys. Do you like mazes? Because this next one is going to be a maze. So, from spawn, what you want to do is like, you see this building here? Yeah, you want to go there. Trust me, there's a reason for this. There always is. Look left, boom. There you go. Yep, it's a maze. Um... <laughs> I apologize about that one crash. But, I'm back. So, like... This is, like... It's like, this is a maze. I think we can all agree on that. But, I exact I know how to get through this maze. Just follow me, lead, all right? So you're in the starting room, right? So you have three ways. Blue, purple, red. What you first want to do is go down the blue pathway. And then go down the only accessible door in that area. You will then see a blue lever. But you this will open all open... Flicking the lever will open all blue doors and all closed blue doors and all close all open blue doors. Next one to head down here and head down these stairs. And you'll find yourself two sets of orange doors. Once you're in the middle of both of them, you'll find to your left will be an orange key which will allow you to get through this room which has an orange lever. You have to Flickeroo these again just so you can get it by. And now you have to go over here. Bring yourself to find yourself the store here. Once you flick the green green lever, you should now have access back up here. And now there's the purple lever. You wanna head back to the starting room now. Now head to the purple way. Now you have two directions. One way leading to a room, and another way into a green door. You would most likely want to choose this room, as there's a green lever here, which you can flick to open this up, which reveals a red lever, which you can flick to go back to spawn, back to this area here, go down this hallway, and soon enough you will find the yellow rune stone right here. Again, I know it's not there for me, but it will be there for you. Trust me. Now we're gonna look at the green one. So like, you wanna make your way back to Hub. And the uh, quickest way to this cave is by going through this door. That is, that is like the back of Hub. Go through the little tunnel here. And make your way to this little room right over here. Now you want to head down here. Not in the mucus. No, no. You want to head down here. Oh, hi, Earthen. How are you doing? Glad to know you're in the video. Anyway, um, <laughs> well, he kind of was already here, so <laughs> I can't really show what I have planned to. No, no, uh, let me do it. I know how to do easily. Oh, I did it wrong. Hold on a second. 
I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay. E. B. D. There, done. I, I figured it out. <laughs> Come on, Earthman. Come on. So essentially, uh, I know it doesn't say on the sign, but what you want to do is click in this, click the buttons in this order. First, you want to click the E button, and then the B one. Lastly, the D one. That's assuming you're starting off with all these like already retracted. It's like not a little like this right now. Once you come, once you're up here, you can then click the green rune stone. Oh, and also, um, you can do this starting with D and ending with E, but you just gotta make sure you do B second. That's, that's how you do it. Okay, uh, if you like the color blue, you're in luck. That's the next one. <laughs> Alright, so, the middle right runestone. What you want to do... Okay, shut up. Hold on. I already know. I'm covering a video on it right now. Anyway... For this middle right one, blue runestone, what you have to do is, well, do you remember where the old Quest Master's house is? You know, that place right there? Well, I, I think you know where this is going. What you want to do is not what that guy's doing, but instead, go just do it in the house. You'll find some portals here. Now, I just want to let y'all know that the order I go in these portals is not the same as you. Everyone has different, like, order from the portals. I checked with my all. It was different for my main and my all. So they're different across everyone. They're different across every single account. So... What I did, it, more than likely, will not be the same for you. But if you can somehow manage to get through the portals and end up in this room, you can then you can safely collect the blue runestone that is actually supposed to be here. Now, there's one more runestone we would have to collect in order to actually open that door. You wanna know which one it is? Remember that cave you went into the, like, uh, for the green runestone? Well, uh, it's kind of near there. Um, if you're a Twitter user, you should know that the Hive kind of tweeted, kind of, I think, picked a little bit of something that uh, looked like this. Yep, parkour. If, you're, if parkour is not your cup of tea, then this is going to take a bit for you. But there is an easy route to this. There is an easy route to this. As you can see here, you start out with the easy route, and then... If you're a bad boy like me, you can actually take on the harder route like this. And because of a wuss, I'm not going to go through, through that. I tried that at least ten times. I failed every single one. I'll, that This was the closest I've been. That block was the closest I've been to finishing that part in there. But you should know that it is definitely possible to get through this parkour. And once you do, the purple runestone will be here waiting for you, which is the top right runestone. And with that, you should now head back down to the doors and put all your runes, all your runestones in the door. Once you do, you can take it to a hallway, and then you'll be taken to a, to a set of stairs. Once at the bottom of it, you should end up seeing the little another little hallway. Which, at the end of it, should lead you to getting this costume. Yeah, the costume I'm wearing is not, like, like, not just given to me by the hive to this video. No. This was actually the reward for, actually, completing this. So if you want the costume I want, I have here, if you want the costume I have here, then you should probably collect all these runestones. And thankfully, thankfully because of this video, you should know how to do it now. Oh, and, uh, along with the costume, you also get some avatars and stuff like that, but those are, like, kind of the important parts, but you get a costume out of it. It's kind of pog. Yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, everything that you have to worry about in this video. It's like, that's the entire video for today. If you enjoy it, again, be sure to smash that like button, 
And if you want to see more content just like this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. And, uh, well, if you want to have the privilege of staying first on my videos, then you should most definitely ring that notification bell to where every time I upload, you know about it. And with that, I'm Kripper Kabe, and I'll be going to play some Ghost Invasion now. See ya. Oh, oh, Ghost Invasion. Yay.